during Great Cancel, their tour in North America, which I was happy about. I know uh, some drama came about that when I was cheering a bit. Uh, I have my reasons for cheering. One reason was because they were, they just toured. I mean, I saw them in December, so why are they t touring again so soon and they don't really have any new material? They should only tour when they have new material because I know what they sound like when they don't have new material. It's not good. It, it sucks, okay? Um, I don't want anyone to experience that. And on top of that, they were guesting these, uh, uh, these douchebags. Uh, I don't- well, okay. From all I know, all the bands that they were touring with, they, they, they suck. So, uh, and asking Alexandria, from an interview, they didn't sound like great. I mean, sure, it could be just the rock star persona, but they just, they crossed the line when they were, you know, ignorantly talking about the whole Sopa Pippa thing, like selfish bastards, I'm sorry. And then they, and I can understand them calling during Grey strange because, you know, they're from Japan and they don't know very much about them. And it kind of hurt me when they compared, they called them the Japanese Slipknot. I'm just like, ugh, I don't even like Slipknot. It's just, ugh, it's awful. But they're, they were saying, we will learn some Japanese and learn these stupid phrases. I just, just dumb. And, and I knew, okay, originally I wasn't even going, but then when I read that interview, I really didn't want to go because uh, first of all, I didn't want to go because I just saw them from, from in December and I was still getting off that high because that was a great show. And two, it was in trees and you know I have a grudge against trees and during Great Dallas fans and I knew they were going to be, the fans were going to be awful. That was my third reason. Because of the other bands, not during Grey's. That wasn't too worried about them. It was the other bands as fans because I'm pretty sure the because the music is really heavy, like heavy, not heavy metal, but it's just dumb emo heavy rock and it's just ew. So I was just like, no, I'm, I'm not gonna go and put myself through that. Uh, so they canceled and they, they canceled for a very good reason. Uh, Kyo was having uh, throat problems and so I hope he takes this time to rest his voice and recover and I hope the other boys uh, support him in his recovery and help him along the way as well as you know make some new music because they're getting up there. I realize that Dai is almost 40 years old and that kind of, uh, I don't know, it slightly disturbed me but I'm just like, you know what, he's still hot. So, I failed at my time limit. I'm sorry. But, uh, I still had some more stuff on my list, so I'm just gonna continue from there. Um, so, last thing I was talking about was uh, about Dern Grey and how Kyo is going to have- He's gonna have surgery on his throat. I think he had, like, polyps or something. So, yeah, I hope he takes care of his voice, because I know he's had vocal problems before, and it's- I'm- I'm just- guessing it's a very scary moment for him because when you're you can tell he's he's still passionate about his music and it seems like the other guys seem just as passionate as well which is great because i mean they've been together for more than a decade now and i have a really strong attachment to them so um yeah, I think for those who were sad about them, um, uh, leave, you know, leaving the tour, I uh, just want to assure you guys, this is for the best. This is the best. This is for the best for Kyo and the other members because honestly, they overwork themselves with all these stupid tours that they do, and if you have not experienced a Duran Grey live. It is worth the wait, especially if you're going to go see them, just them. I mean, them as like headlining, not not guessing, because um, other bands is fans, and the bands can ruin the mood sometimes. So this is worth it. So don't get mad 
it's it's a good thing. Don't be selfish because they need the rest, honestly. Because I mean, they just got off another off a tour, and now jumping back into it is not a very good idea. Okay, so moving on, and I'm so sorry to all my J-Rock fan followers for all the stupid K-pop news. It's not that I'm like abandoning J-Rock for K-pop. It's more of a I don't really have much news about J-Rock lately. Other, I mean, miscellaneous indie bands are breaking up that I don't really follow. And the ones that did, I mean, it's kind of old, which was like Ackle and Paranor and Lesmelt. So, um, yeah, the only thing worth mentioning is, you know, new PDs. And even then, I don't really have to verbally say that. Just put it in the Rex. Um, Anyway, so, uh, so there was some controversy with, uh, Jay Park's, uh, latest song. Uh, it wasn't the song, apparently. I thought it was a song, because I was like, what is wrong? So I had to rewatch it with the subtitles, and I'm just like, I don't get it. It can't be the lyrics. And it wasn't. It was the choreography. <laughs> uh, I watched the live... And I, since it was pointed out in words that this is what the problem was, I'm just like, huh, whatever. So I changed the choreography, and honestly, I read someone's comment and I agree with them. I think Jay Park should have made it, made the choreography more provocative, just to be a rebel, just to be a badass, be like, whatever, I'm Jay Park. But uh, he didn't. Maybe next time. I, I'm waiting for that one K-pop idol or group to just rebel and make whatever was controversial worse. <laughs> I mean, I would do that. Be like, oh, you think this is controversial? Well, what if I added these things? <laughs> yeah, I can't be a K-pop idol. Um. Anyway, his, his song's very addicting. He does uh, new videos in my five recs, so you should go check that out, because I was really happy about that. Someone pointed it out to me, because I was like, oh, his new video's out, and there's two versions of it, oh my god. I watched the R&B one first, and then I watched the original with Doki, Doki, and I was like, oh my god, this is great, they're the greatest mashup ever, and then <gasps> there's some color! Yee! Anyway, um, so that's it. I'm sorry that this was so long and it ended up being two parts. Um, I really need to work on my Spanish homework and some other stuff, hopefully. Um, I'd like to end this with a few things. One, keep checking Buddy Colts because hopefully I'll be back on track on that. Uh, two, vote on the poll because I really, really want to know your opinion on whether I should, like, um, open myself up to you guys and answer questions that you guys want to know about my life, uh, my interests, how I got into stuff, blah, blah, blah. You can go see that in another video. I'm not even going to re-explain it. Um, three, keep sending me requests because I still, I love getting requests. Even though I'm uh, overwhelmed with a whole bunch of things that I need to type. Uh, and four, everyone go check out my brother's uh, YouTube account, Fire Blasta. Uh, he just he's putting up the people's mixtape uh, slowly but surely. And his last one was one of my requests, which was Taeyong's uh, wedding dress. So please check that out because it's really awesome. It's really good, and his other songs are really awesome too. And also Booties with the World. And um, uh, um, that's it. I'm gonna go do homework and and other fun things and listen to awesome music that is in K-pop because I love Neon Hitch. <laughs> anyway, wish me luck, guys, and um, hopefully I will get back on track. Love you so much. Please, thank you for all the support, guys. Peace. Have an awesome Monday.